New question, the member from Toronto, Danforth. Thank you, Speaker. Speaker, through you to the Deputy Premier. The NDP has long supported a cap-and-trade program that is fair, effective, transparent. But unfortunately, unfortunately, government members repeatedly voted down NDP amendments to strengthen their cap-and-trade bill, including one to give the Financial Accountability Officer access to the documents that would verify the effectiveness of the government's climate change initiatives. The member from Beaches East York then tabled a much weaker amendment telling us, quote, from our discussions with the Financial Accountability Office, this is what they are looking for. On Tuesday, the FAO said the member from Beaches East York had misrepresented his opinion. It was not what they were looking for. Why is the government misrepresenting transparency of its cap and trade bill? Um, I'm, uh, I'm going to ask the member to withdraw because you can't say indirectly what you're implying directly, so I'm going to ask him to withdraw. Withdraw. Question, Minister of the, uh, Deputy Premier. To the Minister of uh, sure, the uh, Environment and Environment Climate Change. Climate change. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. And I, I, I do be, just want to preface my remarks by the incredibly constructive role that the member for uh, Toronto Danforth has taken in this. And I, I really want to commend him and, uh, and commend his party for their leadership. Mr. Speaker, we, we actually, we, we actually, Mr. Speaker, sorry. Stop the clock. The member from uh, Huron Bruce, second time. And you might get the warning if you want it. Just ask, ask I'll give it to you right away. Finish, please. Yeah. Thanks, Mr. I'm glad you remember that. I, I share the concern you have. And this is a, a legal constitutional cabinet confidentiality issue, Mr. Speaker. There are restrictions on access to government, and we have this often with table officers in the parliament, and, and we're working, my deputy is working quite carefully right now, very closely with the uh, parliamentary budget officer, looking at different pathways we can within the legal advice we've gotten from, uh, from ministry and, and from the attorney general's office on the limitations of access and the points of access. It is not a concern that's lost on us. We are, we are continuing to work with him, but we are constrained Thank by you. some legal opinions we have, which we're trying to resolve. Member from Lanark, come to order. Supplementary. Speaker, the government promised that cap and trade funds would be spent transparently and effectively. This was something the Ontario Chamber of Commerce, amongst others, asked for. But then the government voted against nearly every NDP amendment that would ensure this. For example, we don't know if cap and trade funds will be spent only on new programs to reduce greenhouse gases. The government voted against an NDP amendment that would have made sure of this. As it is, the government can basically spend the cap and trade money on virtually anything it wants, including deficit reduction. Will the government keep its own transparency promises, starting by giving the FAO access to all the documents that he requests? Thank you, Minister. Th thanks, Mr. Speaker. I, I, want, I want to assure the member that I will work to ensure that within the legal constraints uh, and, and the rules that govern this, this legislature and cabinet, as much information as is humanly possible to get to him. I totally agree with the principle you're saying. We, we did, Mr. Speaker, uh, a government motion uh, include an amendment that would inform the public of which entities have received free allowances and how they were received, which was asked for at committee. We agreed with an NDP motion changing the reporting. Uh, reporting to every year from every five years, which aligns with the fact that I have to submit an expenditure plan, an investment plan, every single year and will report every single year. Uh, a report on the minister's evaluation to Treasury Board be included in the annual report and given to the FAO. And, mo and another motion at committee sets a time required for the release of the annual report uh, at the same time as the public accounts on the greenhouse and gas, sir. gas reduction accounts. I mentioned last time I spoke the number of other measures. We will. We already have the highest standard of transparency. I agree Thank with you. the member's objective. I will work with him to achieve. Thank you. 